gun I use on a lot of my small game hunts is the FX Dreamline Tactical in 25. The controls on the right side include the side lever action, the high capacity magazine, safeties, and the regulator pressure gauge. The adjustable match grade trigger is a post and blade configuration. Mine is set to break at about two pounds and the safety is within easy reach. The side lever action is silky smooth. It auto indexes the high capacity magazine. The magazine is a 16 shot in 25 and in my experience functions flawlessly. There are two pressure gauges. The one on the right shows the regulator setting. On the left is the front panel adjuster. It's to adjust the airflow. To the rear of that is the rear power adjuster and that's used to adjust the spring tension. The front pressure gauge is to monitor onboard air storage. The military spec stock adapter permits several standard AR type stocks to be used. The pistol grip is a Hogue AR style. I've got a Hawk Air Max 4x16 magnification scope mounted on this rifle. It's great glass and I love the uncluttered reticle. I'm using the side shot scope cam with a Hero GoPro backbone for video. I got into the field before daybreak and watched the woods come to life. I vaguely saw a couple squirrels in the distance. I saw a gray squirrel down there running around. But... As the light came up, I moved on until I found a den tree with some activity. This was a big fox squirrel. I like these game stringers for carrying my squirrels. They're easy, they keep my pack clean, free of blood. Since my friend leased out his property for maple harvest, I have to duck and dodge the sap lines, or whatever they're called. I saw this squirrel, but I just couldn't get a shot lined up. Then he started moving head first down the tree.
This is another piece of gear I like. It's a Safari sling. It's just a noose on either end of a nice strap and uh, it's great when I don't want to bother either. I don't want to bother putting swivels on a gun or it's not my gun, it's a loner or it's just a gun I prefer not to have swivel on. It's an easy way to carry it. I can take it off when I want. Uh, actually in a way it's more comfortable than a sling. I use the polecat shooting sticks from Primos more than any others these days. They break down and they're very compact, they're fast to deploy, and they're flexible to use. I'm here today with my FX Dreamline Tactical 25 caliber. This gun's done a lot for me as small game hunting. I've taken it out after uh, prairie dogs, rabbits, uh, cottontails in the Midwest, jackrabbits down in Texas, squirrels, and uh, every time it's, uh, it's just been a, an absolute winner for me. Uh, high capacity magazine, side lever action is smooth as silk, gun is accurate, powerful, you can adjust the power. Uh, it's got multiple barrels. I'm using the uh, the 25. Right um, but uh, this gun, it uh, it comes to to shoulder well. It's light, easy to carry, which I like when I'm doing stuff like this. You see all the the tubing for the maple. I have to crawl under it and step over it. It's nice having a lightweight gun when I'm doing that. Um, Anyway, I got uh, was out here squirrel hunting today at my friend's farm. I got uh, three squirrels. I use this farm. I'm the only one who hunts squirrels here, and I kind of limit myself because I want to keep coming back with different guns. And two or three squirrels a day is about it. But uh, there's about uh, 65, 70 acres of woods through here. The snow's melted off. Last time I was here, there's a lot more snow on the ground, but it is cold still. Um, anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna hike back. Maybe I'll put the drone up, show you some footage from that. But I'm gonna hike back, get myself situated. I need to go back home and get to work this afternoon. Um, it was uh, a late day, but not an off day for me. So anyway, uh, again, FX Dreamline Tactical, great little hunting PCP.